Have you ever wondered which are the 10 poorest countries in the world and why? Today we set out on a journey, a quest to understand the intricate dynamics that have led to the economic plight of these nations. We will be examining the 10 countries that, unfortunately, hold the title of being the poorest in the world. It's crucial to understand that this isn't just about numbers. Behind these statistics lie real people, real lives, and real struggles. The factors contributing to their poverty are multifaceted, including economic instability, lack of education, inadequate healthcare, political instability, technology and innovation, global partnership and aid effectiveness, underdeveloped infrastructure, and challenges in agriculture and food production. These issues create a vicious cycle that can be incredibly difficult to break, but understanding is the first step towards change. Knowledge is power, and with it, we can begin to address these complex challenges. Join us as we delve into an exploration of these countries and the reasons behind their economic plight. To understand the economic status of these countries, we first need to understand the criteria used in their ranking. So, what are these criteria? Well, the first is GDP per capita. This is a measure of the average economic output per person and is often used as a marker of a nation's standard of living. Next, we consider literacy rate. Education is a crucial factor in a country's development and the literacy rate is a direct reflection of the education system's effectiveness. Healthcare access is another important factor. How easily can the citizens of a country access medical services? This speaks volumes about the country's development. Political stability also plays a role. Countries with unstable governments often struggle with economic development. Infrastructure development is another key factor. Good infrastructure is vital for a country's growth and prosperity. Lastly, we look at agriculture and food security. A country's ability to feed its population is crucial for its stability and growth. With these criteria in mind, let us begin our journey through the 10 poorest countries. Kicking off our list, we begin with the 10th poorest country in the world. The Republic of Guinea, a West African nation, is marked by its rich mineral resources, including bauxite, gold and diamonds. Yet these natural assets have not translated into wealth for its people. A large portion of the population is engaged in subsistence agriculture, and the lack of infrastructure development hinders economic growth. Education and healthcare systems are also underdeveloped, resulting in higher literacy and mortality rates. Moving to the ninth spot, we find the landlocked country of Burkina Faso. Despite being rich in gold reserves, Burkina Faso grapples with a fragile economy. The country is heavily reliant on agriculture, which is often threatened by unpredictable weather patterns. Education and healthcare standards are low, and political instability, marked by frequent coups, has impeded the nation's development efforts. Next at number eight is the Democratic Republic of Congo. With vast mineral resources, including cobalt and copper, it would seem the DRC has the potential for economic prosperity. However, ongoing conflict and political instability have led to a lack of investment and development. Education and healthcare are severely under-resourced and the infrastructure is in a state of disrepair. Agriculture remains the primary livelihood for many, but it is often not sufficient to lift families out of poverty. These countries, rich in natural resources, should be thriving. Yet, they are held back by a combination of political instability, lack of infrastructure, under-resourced education and healthcare systems, and vulnerable agricultural economies. Poverty is not merely about a lack of money, it's a multifaceted issue tied to a nation's social, political and economic fabric. As we continue our journey, we discover countries grappling with even more challenging economic conditions. Delving deeper, we now turn our attention to the seventh, sixth and fifth poorest countries in the world. Our seventh stop brings us to Nigeria, a country rich in culture and history, yet plagued by economic hardships. Despite being a major exporter of uranium, Niger's economy is severely constrained by its landlocked position. Infrastructure deficiencies, particularly in transportation, restrict Niger's ability to effectively leverage its natural resources. The country's educational system is underdeveloped, with a literacy rate of less than 30%, and healthcare services are scarce, further exacerbating the situation. Next, we find ourselves in Liberia, the sixth poorest country. Emerging from the shadows of a brutal civil war, Liberia's economy is in a state of recovery. However, the nation is still grappling with the aftermath of conflict, with political instability hindering progress. The healthcare system, 
ravaged by the Ebola crisis, struggles to provide basic services, and the education sector is under-resourced. Agricultural productivity is low, contributing to food insecurity. The fifth on our list is the Central African Republic. Despite being blessed with vast natural resources, including copper and diamonds, their economy remains stagnant. Political instability, corruption, and poor infrastructure development are key contributors to the country's economic woes. The education and healthcare systems are limited in reach and quality, and agriculture, a major source of livelihood, is hindered by lack of modern farming techniques and equipment. Each of these countries, despite their rich cultural histories and natural resources, grapples with severe economic hardships. Their struggles are not just statistics on a page, but realities that millions face every day. The lack of adequate education, healthcare, and infrastructure, coupled with political instability and low agricultural productivity, paints a stark picture of life in these nations. As we move closer to the top of our list, economic conditions become increasingly dire. Let us start with the fourth poorest country, Mozambique, where the economy is primarily agriculture-based. However, the lack of modern farming techniques and equipment hinders the potential of this sector. The country also grapples with a high illiteracy rate. A significant portion of the population lacks access to quality education, which in turn perpetuates the cycle of poverty. Their healthcare system is significantly underfunded with a shortage of medical professionals and facilities. Politically, instability and corruption further hamper the economic growth and development of infrastructure. Moving on to the third poorest country, South Sudan, the situation is not much brighter. Despite having a wealth of natural resources, the economy is marred by mismanagement and corruption. Education is a luxury many cannot afford, and healthcare is a constant challenge with an alarming rate of preventable diseases. Infrastructure development is at a snail's pace due to political instability and lack of funds. The agriculture sector, the backbone of the economy, is also struggling due to outdated farming practices and lack of investment. Finally, we come to the second poorest country, Malawi. This country's economy is heavily reliant on foreign aid due to a lack of self-sufficient industries. Education is not a priority, leading to a low literacy rate. The healthcare system is virtually non-existent with a high prevalence of diseases and a low life expectancy. Political instability and corruption are rampant, further stalling the development of infrastructure. The agriculture sector, though a major part of the economy, suffers from low productivity due to the use of primitive farming techniques. These countries, while rich in culture and human potential, are caught in a crippling cycle of poverty. Their struggles are a stark reminder of the inequalities that exist in our world today. Now brace yourself as we reveal the poorest country in the world. Finally, we have arrived at the poorest country in the world. Burundi, this nation, unfortunately, is a textbook example of chronic poverty. Its economy, heavily reliant on a single, often fluctuating commodity, is unable to provide for its population consistently. The lack of diversity in the economy is a significant contributing factor to its poor status. Education, a critical pillar for any nation's growth, is in a state of disrepair. With less than half of its children enrolled in primary school, the future appears grim. Healthcare too is in a dire situation. Limited access to basic healthcare and high incidences of preventable diseases further exacerbate the country's plight. Political instability and corruption have hindered infrastructure development and agricultural progress. The country's roads, bridges and public utilities are in dire need of investment and repair. The agricultural sector, though a primary source of livelihood, remains underdeveloped due to limited access to modern farming techniques and equipment. Our exploration of the world's poorest countries uncovers a complex web of issues. We've journeyed through 10 nations, each grappling with its own unique challenges. We've seen how economic instability, inadequate education, poor healthcare, political unrest, underdeveloped infrastructure, and struggles in agriculture and food supply have created a cycle of poverty that's difficult to break. These factors are not standalone issues. They are intricately interconnected. A lack of education can lead to limited economic opportunities, which in turn can exacerbate healthcare challenges. Political instability can cripple infrastructure development, which can further hinder economic growth and food production. It's a complex, self-perpetuating cycle that's hard to interrupt, yet not impossible. 
Each country has its own story, its own struggles and triumphs. But they all share one thing in common, a desperate need for sustainable solutions. Understanding these challenges is the first step towards finding sustainable solutions to global poverty. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the 10 poorest countries in the world. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more content.